We know the best endurance athletes tend to have a higher VO2 max. That means they have a maximal aerobic capacity that allows them to run very fast times. It's gonna be a little loose. They're okay. Keep pushing. A VO2 max test is not gonna tell you how fast you can run in a race, but it's really good data and I got a test anyway. Let's see what happened. All right, I just did my warm up. Now it's time to go get my VO2 max tested. Let's do this. We're about to do a VO2 max test. A VO2 max is an individual's maximum ability to take in oxygen and utilize it to produce energy. VO2 max is super important for an everyday individual whose goal is overall health and longevity, since it's a really good indicator of overall cardiovascular health and function. But it's also very important for endurance athletes. We know the best endurance athletes tend to have a higher VO2 max. That means they have a maximal aerobic capacity that allows them to run very fast times. Having a high VO2 max or high aerobic capacity gives the athlete the ability to run a fast marathon or run any kind of fast race since they have the ability to use a lot of oxygen to produce energy. During a VO2 max test, we start an athlete off at a low intensity on a treadmill or bike. And then over time, typically every minute, we increase the intensity of exercise. We can do this via the speed the athlete is running it and also the incline. So every minute we'll increase speed or incline until that athlete cannot run anymore. Once they get to that maximal stage, where they physically cannot run anymore. This is typically that VO2 max stage where we get that peak VO2 reading or the maximum amount of oxygen they're taking into the test and that's the VO2 max. I'm Jason Fitzgerald, I'm host of the Strength Running Podcast and we're here in the Cayman Islands at the Palm Heights Resort to do some metabolic testing. I'm excited. I've been a runner since I was 14. I ran in high school and college, uh, running cross country and track and I'm really excited to do some testing today. In the past, I've done a VO2 max test uh, that was 16 years ago when I was at my peak fitness. So it's gonna be really interesting to see um, how my score compares to a long time ago. What do these numbers mean to you? Well, I'm actually not sure what the force plate testing is gonna show. Probably a lot of imbalances between my right and left side. I'm really interested in the VO2 max score because that's essentially the volume of oxygen that your body can deliver to your muscles when you're exercising really hard. It's a great marker for longevity and a high score typically indicates a very high level of fitness. And lactate threshold is probably what I'm most interested in maybe because it is a score of how fast you can run while still running aerobically, which is one of the best markers for performance in endurance running. So I'm uh, really excited to see how I do. How do you think you're gonna do on the test? I'm hoping to get over 60 for the VO2 max test, but I haven't been hanging out with lactate too much in the last couple of years. So it's gonna be fun to see how I do. Come on, Jason, we definitely have another minute after this. Heart rate's 171. Eight seconds, we're gonna take you to seven. Hold that minute if you can. Perfect. We're already past 10 minutes, this is perfect. I'm gonna start asking you thumbs up, thumbs down if you wanna go up. We got 10 more seconds, you okay to go to eight? Yep, it looks good. Heart rate only 176. Get it above 180 for sure. Here we go to eight slowly. And eight, perfect, you're good. Come on, come on, VO2 still rising. Still rising, it looks great. 50 seconds. Great, Jason, we're at 11 minutes. Test is perfect, heart rate 177. Come on. 20 seconds if you can. 15 seconds. Whenever you can't go, go to the side of the treadmill and I'll shut it off. Let me know. Good, heart rate 180. Whenever you can, keep going. Done at 17. One more. 
I'm going to keep you at this incline. I'm just going to have you hold. Hell hold yeah. for another minute. We're not going to go up an incline. Hold this for as long as you can. Hold this for as long as you can. We're not going up. Just hold. Just hold. Good. That means to stop. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We're going to try to go. Come on. 30 seconds. Good. You good? Okay, perfect. You crushed it. Here, here, here. Right about 66. Oh man, that was awesome. Hey, that was epic. I think right around 66. Oh shit. Dude. I just want to get. Yes. 66? I mean, that's all we need to get. That's wild. Oh, that felt good. You fucking crushed that. I mean, 66, that's elite, man. I mean, if you were 10 years ago, 16, I mean, that's pretty really good. <laughs> that's awesome. I haven't really trained in nine years. Still, I mean, the video is not your keep it. Yeah. I mean, How'd that feel, Jason? How did it feel? Yeah. Poor uh, I think my, my breathing is a good indication. What was my max heart rate? You got to like 181. What's the highest you've seen? Recently, it's probably gonna, that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I, as we were doing the test, your heart rate was just low throughout. Like your heart rate defensive thresholds are low, right? Like your LT1 was like, probably like 140-ish. Yeah. It's just, you have a low heart rate, probably from all the aerobic stuff. Yeah, so I do a ton of aerobic stuff now, you but just, not as much. Yeah, it's not too much stuff, so yeah. When a runner retires, that's the first thing to go, the hard oh, workouts. <laughs> My, I'm about to let mine, I'm not retiring, but don't mind this thing. But I mean, you had a very low heart rate, 180 heart rate, that's probably max for you now, which is fine. Yeah. Very efficient though. The thing that was, was at the low speeds too, your VO2 was low, like very efficient, ready to cut, which makes sense. It's probably it my LT and my VO2 is closer, like we were talking about very yesterday, close, very because close. I don't have that anaerobic capacity You don't have that anaerobic right where it's moved up, which is fine. Right. I mean, you have a high VO2 max, it's just your thresholds are such a high percentage. Like you can maintain your aerobic speed very close to your VO2 max, which yeah. is good for a marathon. Yeah. Not good for a sprinter, 5K, the shorter stuff. <sighs> Cold towel is a must. How'd that compare to like how you thought you were gonna do? I thought it was I, oh, better. Uh, oh, yeah, he didn't know that. I, I, I was hoping to get over 60. I just thought there would be more decline since 2008 when I had my, my other VO2 max done because my, my racing performances have declined substantially because I'm just not training to be a competitive runner right now. But I'm still running almost every day, so I've maintained a pretty good amount of, of fitness. I'm just not doing the hard workouts, I'm not doing the volume, I'm not doing the hard workouts and, and long runs. So, yeah, I mean, to go from 66, 69 to 66, I'll take it. Do you have any tips for like somebody who's never done a, a VO2 max before? For someone who's never done a VO2 max test, I would, I would say kind of envision that you're about to race two miles in a progressive fashion. So you're going to start kind of easy and it's going to get harder and harder and harder. Um, and you know, it might be the equivalent of like two miles or a mile and a half roughly, uh, or maybe a mile. And just be, just be ready to be uncomfortable because I mean, the, the, the better you can maintain that effort, the higher your VO2 max is going to be. Um, because it, after all, it's measuring a maximum. So you want to make sure that your maximum is as much as you can get it. So, I mean, I warmed up beforehand. I've had some caffeine. Um, you know, I did some strides, some faster pickups so that I was actually ready to run pretty hard in this test. Uh, but I think it's a really good tool for a lot of athletes who want to get a sense of their, you know, max aerobic output. And, um, you know, for anyone interested in longevity, it's also a really good way of just kind of seeing where you are because we're all declining. So you want to be able to decline from the highest possible peak. So that means just trying to get your VO2 max as high as you can when you're young.